Hello guys, KP Shamino here with another guide and this time it's about how you need to catch a bass. There are two ways that you can catch a bass. That's with a spoon and that's with a bobber. So I'm going to show you guys in the starting zone how you need to catch a lot of bass. And then uh, I'm going to show you how you need to do it, where you need to throw and how you need to catch one. And after this video, if I don't catch a bass in this video, I add like uh, two, three small movies uh, where I catch a bass with the two combinations. So first of all I'm going to show you guys the bobber combination. So let's go to inventory. I prepared already uh, two setups like you can see. So the first setup is the normal uh, telescopic rod that you start with a bobber. I'm, uh, I think I'm using hook I need to check now for a moment. Yeah, I'm using hook number four. For this movie, I'm using the red worms, like you can see, the normal reel and a line that can hold 0.9 kilograms of fish. So it's 12 one hundredth of a millimeter. So it's just the standard uh, equipment that you can fish with because the bus the highest that I catched here was one kilogram so you need to watch it a little bit because it's a very active fish so it's a strong one so I will uh, show you guys what perfect drag is to uh, when I start fishing so my second setup is uh, like a casting rod with this spoon this spoon I like a lot so it's the casting spoon 5 and to be honest, compared to the silver and the gold that you can buy from uh, level 3, I think, this one is really good. I see the fish, the bass, the pike bite a lot more on this than uh, on the, the small silver and gold one. Uh, I'm using the bread a little bit higher because this is my pool to, to fish on pike, but bass and pike are almost the same. You can just buy the first... Uh, casting rope you just take a normal reel with your normal uh, line it will work too just do a spoon setup and your will be okay okay now I'm going to show you guys where the spot is so at the moment I'm in Mudwater Missouri like you guys can see and you need to go over here where you can fish a lot of catfish too so let's go fishing and you will see, uh, try to run, here is the road, try to run like this, to here, and like this. So, uh, yeah, fish with F11 up. Ah, it was already up, so I need to click it again. Ah yeah, I forgot one important thing, sorry for that. So I'm fishing at 30 centimeters, that's Europe uh, length. So... I don't know what this in inches, so you need to check it yourself, but the bass is not uh, a fish that lives on the ground. So it's it's high uh, at the water, 30 centimeters is good for me. So I'm using that, of course in a spoon it doesn't matter because you don't have a bobber. Okay, now I'm going to show you guys where the sweet spot is, if I stop throwing my bobber in the water of course. Okay, let's do an F11. and. Let's go a little bit, yeah, that's perfect. And the sweet spot is over here. Like a bus like to sit in the green in the water. It's a, it's a predator to wait for his prey. So let's throw over there. Like this. And that's the perfect spot. And now you need to wait. So let's wait a little bit. I don't going to wait that long because I already got videos that I catch the bus. So you guys can see at the right bottom my drag is around 3. Put it around 3 because if you put it a little bit higher, 4 or 5, it's possible that the bass at the start is very active when you catch him, that he breaks your line. There, there we already got a bite. I hope it goes. Come on. Yeah, no. No action anymore. You can just a little bit on your bobber and if you see your tension meter moving you know he still ate eating from it but it's not working yeah yeah there is another one did you see it a little bit blue so I expecting a good bite yeah and here we go do you know now you hear the drag 
the drag is clicking a little bit so at the start he's, he's doing some action but you need to tire him a little bit and then you can get him in and like you can see a young large mouth pass so that's good right in the movie so uh, I'm going to keep it nice experience so for a pike and a bass at the starting zone it's more experience than the catfish or other fishes so because it's a little bit more uh, complicated to uh, catch them but that was the setup setup one now we are going to switch to setup two and that's the spoon setup so how you need to switch just push number two and uh, now we are going to try to catch a bass with the spoon like I said uh, I'm using the casting spoon five but you can use the f uh, uh, nine at the moment I mean but you can use the five too it's a really good spoon this one like I already said so try to get one of those two I guess that the nine gram you can catch a little bit bigger fish than with the five man but they work the same so just the same again so now I'm growing to throw like this okay let's do it and let's hope that we got another bus I always go with number two uh, for my reeling and then we're going to start so you just reel a little bit look my uh, my spoon is getting up and down let's wait a little bit let's spoon a little bit more yeah he's flying now really well let's stop a little bit yeah and here we go again Yep, no luck. So let's uh, let's do another try. Oh, yeah, no, there was already one on it. Okay, he just catch it when uh, when I was on the shore. So another bus. Sometimes when you do some spoon fishing and you look at the water, you see your spoon, and behind it you see a fish, and they all follow you to the shore. And this one, I just stopped. He took it, and I got him. Be in in real life, I got once. Uh, I throw my spoon and I came on the shore and I think like seven to eight bass, small bass fish came after it and they were just sitting in front of me. So it's realistic because I saw it in real life too. So let's keep this bass and that's it for the movie guys. So uh, you got two setups, a spoon, a bobber. 30 centimeters with a bobber and with red worms. Try to use the casting spoon 9 uh, gram or 5 gram. And that's it. So happy best fishing. Thanks for watching and have fun in Fishing Planet. Bye bye.